Let's see that work done in rotating an electric dipole in a uniform electric field. Suppose these lines represent uniform electric field in some given region. Say, let's represent these electric field lines as some E. And since these lines are moving from left to right, so this must be the positive terminal, and here it must be the negative terminal. Now suppose there is an electric dipole inside this uniform electric field they somewhat like this and let's make charges over here so if this is plus q this is minus q and as we know the distance between the two is represented by 2l and since unlike charges attract each other therefore this plus q would be attracted towards right with force q e in the same way this negative charge would be attracted towards left with force q e magnitude would be same but direction would be different now say let's suppose central point of dipole and say it is at an angle theta 1 initially now if we rotate this say from theta 1 to some theta 2 so what is the work done that is happening over here we need to find out its expression so let's do the mathematics part of it so as you know in rotation the work done would be torque into the angular displacement so find out the work done from theta 1 to theta 2 we need to find out smaller work done in moving that dipole through some angle d theta now from the previous expression of torque acting on a dipole in a uniform electric field we know tau can be written as pe sin theta and again d theta and this is like dw so to find out the work done from theta 1 to theta 2 we just need to integrate both side this side from 0 to w no work to total work and from to this side theta 1 to theta 2 so ultimately dw's integration would be w 0 to w and here we can take pe outside the integration sign because they are constant theta 1 to theta 2 sin theta d theta now we know integration of sin theta is nothing but minus cos theta so ultimately this we can write as minus cos theta theta 1 to theta 2 and on applying the limits it's like upper limit minus lower limit lower limit we get minus cos theta 2 minus of minus cos theta 1 so ultimately on further simplification we get minus cos theta 2 plus cos theta one and rearranging we get the final expression for the work done so it would be like cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 so this is the total work done in rotating an electric dipole in a uniform electric field from theta 1 to theta 2 now we can have some cases over here like say theta 1 is 0 degrees and theta 2 is 90 degrees so this implies as cos 0 is 1 and cos 90 is 0 therefore our work would be pe cos 0 in place of cos theta 1 that is 1 minus 0 so ultimately the expression reduces to w is equal to pe then again see this is case 1 and then again another case what we can see is theta 1 is say 0 and theta 2 is 180 degrees or say 5 radians so this implies cos 0 degrees is 1 and cos of 180 degrees is nothing but minus 1 therefore the expression would give us these terms like cos theta 1 can be replaced by cos 0 which is like 1 and cos theta 2 can be replaced by 
cos 180 which is like minus 1 so it is like minus or minus 1 so this becomes PE 1 plus 1 so ultimately you can get 2 PE so this is the maximum work done in rotating an electric dipole in a uniform electric field so these are the two important cases that we need to do